came here, I was appointed in uh, January of 83. I came here in spring of 83. And, and uh, at the time, Minnesota didn't have any training. Um, and it was a very good training. Back then, it was three or four weeks for Gen Jur, five days a week. Um, and, it, and it was just very helpful. I can't, and then I think I came back a couple times as a facilitator, a group leader. I can't remember what you call them. And then at some point, I, I came out with Steve Simon to do an evidence workshop. And then I was asked to do you know, evidence and other courses. And, and it's, it's, I enjoy teaching. And uh, judges, you know, it's not like in Europe where you start out being trained as a judge when you get out of college. You're on the judge track. Well, in the United States, you're an attorney. And if you're, you want to be a judge and you're, it works out, you may be a judge. But we can't be a judge like Europe is. So most lawyers don't have great training to be a judge. And it's very specialized, and so, um, and the NJC obviously does a great job doing it. So it's fun to be a part of that. I teach, uh, I teach evidence, and uh, usually t mostly to new judges, but I've taught ev several evidence courses to experienced judges too, and I've t taught judicial decision making several times here, and I've taught some other courses too, but mostly evidence and decision making. If you're a trial judge, evidence is the, uh, you know, is the, is the thing you should know. I'm a, I'm from Minnesota. I'm a general jurisdiction court judge, which means I do everything. You know, one week I'll have, you know, felonies, rape, and murder. Next week I'll have civil cases, and probate, family, juvenile, you name it, we do it. And so I, I one of my themes, to the new judges is, and most of you are not specialists like you were when you practiced, but one of the things you should do is learn the rules of evidence because if you learn the rules of evidence, then you, the, the attorneys will, you know, you'll conduct the trial much fairer and they'll respect you. And, and the way evidence works is the trial judge has great discretion. He or she doesn't have to know the rules of evidence. They can just go with their gut and, and, know, and still get affirmed 98% of the time. You know, the appellate courts affirms the trial court. So lazy judges or judges who don't want to study the rules will probably be fine in the appellate court, but they will not be giving the, the litigants and the attorneys a fair trial because the rules of evidence are based on you know, fairness and truth, justice. It's a mixed bag. The future of judiciary is a mixed bag because uh, 37, I think it's 37 states have nonpartisan, excuse me, not nonpartisan, but elect elections. And, you know, I've, I've been teaching judges for almost 30 years. and. Uh, the, the best judges, in my view, are the ones that are appointed, not elected. Because a lot of elected judges, I don't know if it's a lot, but some elected judges act as congressmen, legislators, where they have an agenda. And the key to being a good judge and having the people in front of you buy into our decisions is that we're absolutely, you know, as fair as we can be and totally independent, not relying on, you know, Republicans or Democrats or a sugar daddy or anything else. And so with, with, with so many states uh, electing judges and, and so much more money in the uh, elections because of, of Supreme Court decisions that happened in the last 10 years, that's, that's, uh, that scares me. On the other hand, I think there will be more and more training. Minnesota didn't have training in 83, like I said, when I was appointed, but we now have a, a new judges school and we have an a, you know, experienced judges school. And we still send people out here because you know, you can't duplicate this, so.